What would you do if the person you trust the most in the world keeps a secret from you? Do you consider keeping a secret an offense? Let's find out in Alex's story. Alex is a marketing manager. He always believed that commitment was the cornerstone of any relationship. He came from a broken home. His parents' bitter divorce left him with a deep-seated fear of abandonment. Alex fell in love with Madi. Madi is an event planner, full of life, and an independent young woman. She's so beautiful. But at 27, she had already experienced more heartache than most young girls of her age. As a child, she has lost her parents and have been betrayed by relatives. The betrayal and loss had made her guarded, always keeping a part of herself hidden. When Alex came into Maddie's life, he ticked all her boxes. He's loyal, he's loving, he's caring and dependable. They were so in love and inseparable and spent a lot of time together. One day, Alex was at work, surfing through campaign data when an anonymous message pinged on his phone. It contained photos of Maddie with another man. Their smiles in that photo was too intimate to be platonic. Alex was stunned. He was so shaken that his phone fell from his hands. His legs suddenly grew too weak to carry him. He fell to the ground and cried bitterly. Alex hurried home and confronted Maddie. It was the hardest thing he had ever done. At first, she denied it. Her eyes wide with panic. But when Alex showed her the photos, her defenses crumbled. It was just a mistake, she whispered, her voice cracking. It didn't mean to happen. It didn't mean anything. But it did. For Alex, it meant the shattering of trust, the betrayal of everything he held there. A month later, the once inseparable couple, the envy of the town, were still in shambles. The emotional turmoil between them have grown unbearable. Alex couldn't sleep. He couldn't focus at work. He replayed their previous years together in his mind, searching for signs he might have missed. Was it something he had done, he thought, or something he hadn't done? Maddie too was struggling. The affair wasn't about love or lust. It was a cry for help, a desperate attempt to fill the void that had been growing in their relationship. She hadn't felt connected to Alex in months, and the pressure of maintaining a perfect facade had become too much. But admitting this to Alex was like pouring salt into an already gaping wound. What is she going to do now? Before we continue, I want to welcome you to this channel. I share stories like these at least three times a week. If you're new here, kindly subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello. Thank you, thank you so much for coming back. Kindly share this video with your friends and family. Now let's get back to the story. I felt so alone. Maddie confessed one night, her voice barely audible. It wasn't, it wasn't about him. It was about us. We have been drifting apart for so long. I, I didn't know how to reach you. Alex was silent. He couldn't understand what his ears were hearing. What was Maddie saying? He provided for her. Having been so focused on his work, on providing a stable life, that he hadn't noticed Maddie slipping away? 
Maddie's statement stung, but it also brought clarity. Their relationship had been on autopilot, and Maddie's infidelity was a symptom, not the cause of their problems. Then their emotions began to fly around. They began the blame and deflection game. Alex accused Maddie of betrayal, while Maddie pointed out how emotionally distant Alex had become. They argued about the little things. Dishes left in the sink, missed dates, each trying to shift responsibility away from themselves. But underneath it all was a deeper, more painful truth. They had both contributed to the collapse of their relationship. Do you think I wanted this? Maddie snapped one evening, her eyes filled with tears. Do you think I wanted to hurt you? I needed you, Alex, but you were never there, she retorted. And you think sleeping with someone else was the answer? Alex shot back, his voice trembling with rage. You shattered my trust, Maddie. How can we ever come back from this? The question hung in the air, unanswered. Rebuilding trust seemed impossible for them. Every time Maddie left the house, Alex wondered if she was meeting the other man. Every time Alex pulled away emotionally, Maddie feared he was planning to leave her. They were caught in a vicious circle of suspicion and fear, unable to find a way out. They both decided to get counseling. Counseling sessions brought a little relief. They dredged up painful memories of your past. Alex talked about his fear of abandonment. Maddie talked about her trust issues. Each counseling session left them feeling more exhausted and unsure of their future. It didn't look like the therapy was working. A few weeks later, Maddie discovered she was pregnant. The news of the pregnancy hit them like a freight train. It was supposed to be a time of joy, but instead, it added another layer of complexity to their already fragile relationship. Alex was stunned between his instinct to protect his child and his deep sense of betrayal. Maggie was overwhelmed with guilt, unsure if she deserved to be a mother after what she had done. The question of whether to stay together became even more urgent. Could they put aside their pain for the sake of the child? Or would the resentments between them poison everything, including their ability to be good parents? In the weeks that followed, Alex and Maddie were forced to confront their deepest fears. Alex had to face the fact that his emotional distance had played a role in Maddie's affair. Maddie had to come to terms with her inability to communicate her needs before it was too late. They both had to decide what was more important, holding on their pain or letting go for the sake of their future. After countless sleepless nights and tearful conversations, they reached a decision. They would try to rebuild their relationship, not just for their child, but for themselves. They both knew it wouldn't be easy and the road ahead was uncertain, but they owed it to each other to try. As they held each other close, the shadow of trust still lingered between them, but they knew that if they could survive this, they could survive anything. Months later, Alex and Maddie were sitting in their living room, the sounds of the cooing of their new baby filling the space with new life. The journey had been far from smooth, but they had grown both as individuals and as couple. Forgiveness had been the hardest part, but it was also the most liberating. They had learned to communicate, to be honest about their needs and fears, and to prioritize their relationship in a way they never had before. The aftermath of the infidelity had nearly destroyed them, but it had also given them a second chance, a chance to rebuild, to grow, and to create a future that was stronger and more resilient than the past. So Alex and Maddie lived happily ever after
It is important for partners to communicate regularly about their feelings, concerns, and avoid misunderstanding and emotional distance. Secondly, relationships need continuous effort and nurturing from both partners to remain strong and healthy. And thirdly, trust is a foundational element in any relationship and once broken, it is incredibly difficult to rebuild. Past wounds can affect current relationships, so it is important to go through healing and self-awareness. And finally, while infidelity can devastate a relationship, it doesn't have to end it. However, for such relationship to survive, both partners must be willing to change, grow and work together to rebuild what was lost. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Linda. Kindly share this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on videos like this. And remember, I appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.